Hey everyone, my name's Dan and I'm the owner of Chuff Skates. Today I'm coming to you from a local country and I'd like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of these lands and that sovereignty was never ceded. Today I'm here to talk to you about safety gear. Firstly, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about my own journey with safety gear and then I'll talk through some of the safety gear options available to you. I came to roller skating through roller derby where you have to wear all the pads all the time and to be honest sometimes I found this pretty stifling. So when I came to park skating I really liked the freedom of being able to wear what I wanted, when I wanted and for many many years all I wore was like the thinnest knee pads. However now I'm a little older, I've been park skating for like six years, I probably have more experience and more confidence than I've ever had before. And funnily enough, I also now wear more gear than I ever have before. There's a couple of reasons for this. One, years of skating has taken its toll on my body. And now when I fall, I don't want to be out of action for a long time. So I wear more gear to make myself feel a little bit more comfortable when I'm skating so I can bounce back a little faster when I do have falls. Two, Wearing a helmet does make me feel more comfortable to do more things. To be honest, when I've been trying new stuff, especially in bigger bolts, for years I've put on a helmet. Now I just wear one all the time because I guess over years of experience, a few friends of mine have had really bad injuries and it's just made me personally reassess where I'm at with my skating and with what I wear. Wherever you're at in your skating, what you wear is entirely up to you. However, I will say from a lot of coaching experience that if you're a beginner, you are going to fall more. So I would recommend that you wear all the gear when you're learning so that you can be in skating for a really long time injury free. I can tell you that all the people you see online who wear no gear most of the time have probably been skating for ages. There's also a good chance that when they're learning something new, they do wear the gear. Or like me, sometimes they just put on thinner pads underneath their clothes because it feels a little bit more comfortable, but that safety gear is still there. My biggest tip, don't base what you're wearing on what other people are wearing. The most important thing is that you feel comfortable while you're skating. Next, I wanna talk you through some gear and let you know that not all gear is created equal. I know skating is really expensive, but it really is worth investing in gear that actually fits you and that is actually gonna protect you. Helmets. I will say that for a really long time, I felt hot and agitated whenever I wore a helmet. Now only recently I realized that I was trying to wear a helmet that didn't fit me. Now when I wear a helmet, I don't even really notice it. A good fitting helmet should fit securely, but not too tight. It should sit well on your head, not up too high, and it shouldn't move around. The strap should be secured under your chin so that it can't move forward past your chin while you're skating. There are plenty of soft shell helmets and helmets out there that aren't really suitable for skating. They're not going to protect you if you hit your head. You should find a helmet that meets the minimum safety requirements and certifications for Australia. These will always be marked on the product pages where you buy them and on the packaging themselves. Our favourite certified helmets are S1 helmets. Most of our team wear these and we love them. S1 helmets have different padded liners that you can change out so that you can change the size of the helmet without having to get a new helmet entirely. This is really handy if your liners get squished a little too much over time, you can just get new ones so your helmet fits really well again. Or maybe if your hair has grown or shrunk or you've changed your hairstyle, uh, you can just get new liners and it's really, really cool. That being said, if you have had a big fall and hit your head or your helmet has been banged up over time, like rattling around in the boot of your car, you probably should replace it. Helmets won't last forever and for optimal protection, you should replace it after it has had significant impact. Okay, next up, pads. Deciding what pads to wear can be pretty tricky. If you're a rec skater just cruising around or you're just starting out taking some roller fit classes or something like that, a basic pad pack will probably do the trick and will help you feel protected. However, there is a big difference between the ones you find in Kmart or Rebel Sport or wherever and a pad pack that is actually going to give you some protection. Something like the Trinity pad pack that comes with knees, elbows and wrists can be really handy and convenient and has everything you need to get started. Similarly, S1 does a basic park pad set, which is really good as well. 
If you're going to be doing heavier park skating or you've had previous injuries, I would definitely recommend a higher end knee pad. My S1 Pro knee pads are by far the best and longest lasting that I've ever had. I've had this particular set for around 18 months and it still feels basically new. You can replace out the caps if you need new ones or if you crack them. And just compared to other brands out there for a similar price point, I found that the straps on these are really sturdy and solid and they don't disintegrate over time, especially when you're washing them. Whichever pads you decide to get, just make sure they fit well. They shouldn't slide up and down, but they also shouldn't be cutting off your circulation. When it comes to protection for my hands and wrists, I use these roller fit palm sliders and I really, really love them. I used to get a lot of bruises on my palms when I was falling in the park and these have a shock absorbing gel injected inside them, which is really nice when you fall. Also, it protects my wrist a little because when I hit the ground, my hand slides out, which takes away some of the impact from the wrist. Some people definitely still prefer a more traditional style wrist guard with a pin. That's fine as well. Most major brands will also stock those wrist guards. Personally, I still don't wear elbow pads, but I have a lot of scars on my elbows, so I probably should. This might change over time. If you decide to wear them, that's great. Same as with your knee pads. Just make sure they're fitting well and they're not moving around while you're skating. The last thing I want to talk to you about, which is a safety gear item that's pretty under discussed in roller skating, and that is inner soles. Inner soles are really important because they protect your feet, which is the main thing you use for skating. And I don't know about any of you, but any park skater who's had a heel bruise knows how much it sucks and how long it can take you out of action for. The inner soles that come inside most standard roller skates kind of suck. A lot of them are like as thin as paper and one of the things that we wanted to improve with Chuffed is to make sure all the inner soles in our skates are pretty good. The basic one that comes in our Cruiser and Wanderer skates has a little heel pad that will absorb some shock but it is not as good as something that is specialized for park skating. The inner sole that comes standard in our new Pro Grid is this one right here. It's made from a high impact shock absorbing foam and we really love them. That's why we've decided that we're now going to sell them separately as well. So you can get these and put them inside any set of skates. They come in two sizes and just need to be cut down based on the size lines. It's super simple. So if you wanted to know a little more about safety gear or you're wondering what safety gear to wear, I hope this has been useful to you. If you want to chat to us about it anymore, you can slide into our DMs on Insta or send us an email at hello at Stay safe and stay chuffed, everybody. Happy rolling.